Yo! Yo! Oh, that hurt. What up? Welcome back. We're gonna do some cool stuff today, hopefully. That's the plan, as always, because, uh, you know, I'm awesome like that. First cool stuff to do today is increase my boiler output, because as you can see, there's no steam in there, and this thing keeps going because it can't finish the operation because it doesn't have enough steam. We need more steam. And that ties in nicely to this beautiful quest right up here. Upgrade coal boiler, high pressure coal boiler. It's a coal boiler, but it's made out of steam instead. Watch out world. It's actually really easy to make. So I'm gonna make a lot of steel plates and uh, yeah, you know what's gonna happen then. We're gonna fucking boil stuff in them. Oh yeah, and in the meantime, while I'm doing all that fun stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Well, it's not really gonna work because it's already it's not enough steam. Let me, okay, turn this off. I turn this off. Okay, I turn everything off, so now this should work eventually. I'm gonna compress these coal coke, coal cokes into coal coke blocks. Apparently they are more efficient. Didn't know that, but it sounds good to me. Shout out to a comment that told me to do that, Big Brain. Also shout out to the comment that told me to do this. Okay, well I was gonna enable chunk loading, but I've done some Googling and apparently that is not gonna be as easy as I had hoped. Ugh, gonna have to install another mod or some crap or you know change permissions on a mod. Anyways, I'm not doing it right now, but yeah. I will need to do chunk loading soon, TM trademark. Anyways, high pressure coal boiler needs five steel plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some steel in the compressor. I mean, forge hammer. And you're also wondering, oh my god, why is it going upstairs to get steel? That's not where the steel is. Boom, it is now. I put all this stuff up here. They are storage drawers, as you can probably tell. And uh, yeah, I'm just holding like ingots and stuff here that's like relevant to production. Uh, I should probably do one for ore as well. Anyways, this is over here now. Uh, you know, we're just giving it a go. We're trying it out, seeing how it feels. We'll, we'll smell it out, sniff it out, give it a whiff, you know, etc., etc. All right, let me forge hammer these bad boys. I think this makes plates yes so it used three and it gave me two plates yes that is what i expected and here's our blocks of coal coke which uh, does look a little bit like obsidian and by a little bit i mean it looks identical but that's fine it's very cool all part of the plan you know so yeah a small increase of efficiency there which you know will always take because that was basically free to do, so why not, right? There's 12 steel plates, so it's enough for two high pressure boilers. Oh yeah, I also made an excavator. I forgot to show you that. This is what it looks like. It just, it works like the hammer, but for dirt, so pretty nice. Oh, and I went mining with those tools and got a whole shitload of iron and gold and stuff, so I have more resources now. They're being re refined, so yeah, there you go, PSA. Definitely thought I had two more iron furnaces somewhere, but I'm not seeing them. I guess I used them for something, so whatever. I'll just make some new ones. All right, first things first, iron furnaces. Iron fern eye. Bink, bink. Ah, I forgot the bricks. God damn it. I really need to just move all the storage over. If I'm gonna have it half and half, this is really annoying going back and forth. Okay, bink, bink. Two high pressure coal boilers. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, game. I'll also go ahead and move all the bricks over. All right, these should be pretty easy to hook up. Oh, went and got more pipes that I already had enough, evidently. Whatever. What did I just do? Oh, God. All right, there's just the first one. Huh. Oh, I was about to say the pipe's not burning me, and I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, it is. All right, those should both be hooked up now, unless the output's screwed up. Oh, wow, they actually use quite a lot of the water. But I think once they're filled up, they don't use nearly as much. Okay, they're both now filled. Yeah, we're going up again. Cool. I'll have to watch that, make sure I don't need to expand my water production even more. Which I might, but we'll see. Oh, this isn't producing anymore. Okay, I guess it was full somewhere. I didn't realize. Anyways, I'll drop a block of charcoal in both of these bad boys, which I think they're gonna, I'm probably gonna use it up quite a bit faster, but I guess we'll see. All right, how's the uh, output looking now? I wish I had compared the before and after, because I can't really tell how much faster this is, but I'm sure it's a lot faster. Anyways, let me get some of this stuff going again that I took out. Well, I believe they're all running again, and it looks like we're still going up by quite a lot, so. Hopefully, I'm now exceeding the production demands. Oh yeah, and they're barely even heated up yet. Okay, yeah, we, we're gonna be making so much steam now. It's going to be beautiful. And water still looks good to go, so we're chilling. All right, we got that knocked out. And with that knocked out, I kind of want to shoot for this multi-block macerator. I've read that it's very, very good. And now that we have a better method of producing steam, which we know we can make a lot more of those, uh, I feel more comfortable actually shooting for that. So I think that's gonna be my next goal. And this quest comes first, ultra low voltage fluid tank. And it actually looks really easy to make, so 
Holds 32,000 liters of fluid. That's pretty good. Although it doesn't auto output anything, so it requires pumps or whatever. And this pipe is the same old pipe recipe, but with clay plates. In clay plates, you just compress some clay dust. All right, I'll go ahead and compress this clay dust down. Oh wow, that takes a very long time to compress. While I'm waiting for those to uh, get compressed down into plates of clay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this watering can. I mostly just wanna see how fast it really is. Some mod packs watering cans are like, crazy crazy fast i want to see if this is one of them or not also i'm moving my tools over here i think it'll be a lot better that way all right just took a couple of steel things and a lot of iron but there we go oh damn it this crafting table just doesn't work sometimes like for certain recipes I'm not, i don't really know why oh maybe it's because it has the wrong screwdriver there let me try replacing that yeah okay that was it anyways there's the watering can the supreme pizza and eight steel ingots or is the loot bag gonna be worth it mm -hmm. Probably not worth it, right? Yeah, I'll just do the steel, whatever. Anyways, let's see how this works. You don't have to fill it up with anything. Hmm, okay, does it really just work out of the box or not? no particles or anything? Okay, so that's planted. Is there a button for it maybe? Okay, so maybe you have to click a source block to fill it. I guess that didn't count as a source block. So let's see if I can put a hole in the ground. Maybe that'll work, I think. Okay, yeah, there we go, that filled it up. Interesting. And it does not consume the source block, thankfully. I'm gonna go ahead and put well, I guess I have source blocks right here, actually. I can just do that. Anyways, so let's see how fast this is. It's at 9% growth right now. I spam this bad boy a little bit. It might not even work on IC2 crops, honestly. I don't know. Well, it's still at 10%. <laughs> so I don't... Oh, wait. Maybe? Okay, either this thing sucks or it doesn't work on IC2 crops. So let's try a regular crop. All right, cotton. Okay, yeah. It definitely works on regular crops. <laughs> that thing grew up quick. Eesh. Bit of a shame about the IC2 crops, but yeah. Anyways... I guess we have that now. Well, those clay plates should definitely be ready to go now. Let me go grab them. Yep, there we go. Oh wow, these high pressure ones use up char or use up coal coke way faster. No real surprise there, I suppose. Large clay fluid pipe acquired. Four iron plates and two tin plates. Oh, and a steel plate. I see. There. Oh wait. There we go. Ultra low voltage fluid tank. Oh, another quest down. We're just hammering through these today. My God. My yacht. Sorry. Loot bag, salt ore, and potions of strength. One of the more random rewards I've gotten, but okie dokie. Anyways, there's that. Okay, well, let's see here. 26 bronze plated bricks. You know, I did have a lot of bronze, uh, but I'm thinking I'm going to need more. So it's six plates per block. It was 156. It's actually not that bad, I think. How much bronze do I actually have is the question. Okay, I'm actually down quite a bit, so yeah, I'll need to get more bronze without a doubt, but uh, I think I have a pretty good amount of copper and tin already. Alloy smelters not wanting to work. Oh, that's a bronze thing getting out of copper. That would be the problem. Yeah, running that bad boy is gonna drain steam very quickly. I, well, maybe not. But with these two high pressures, I think I can mostly keep up with it. I hope. Oh, I hear an Enderman. Could be good to kill. Don't know if he's a special type. Well, he's gone. All right, thank you very much for that. Oh, I was trying to figure out why this was moving so slowly. I'm pretty sure if you feed it a block of coal coke, it does 10 at a time instead of one. Because that's 2,400 seconds down there, which is like really long. Uh, so yeah, I think it's gonna pop out 10 steel at once. All right, mystery solved. All right, I think I need to go get some more copper for the amount of bronze I'm going to need. I'm gonna ignore all that for now because I don't feel like dealing with it. Looks like I have a copper deposit right in the middle of my farm, so that is ideal. Sorry, Mr. Carrot, you're in my way. Now we find out if I dug straight down or not. Okay, no, I did not. Woo! Lit. Gonna use ladders. Oh wow, it's just like right here, huh? It's quite nice. All right, well, anyways, gonna do a little bit of mining now, and I guess if I have any fun thoughts while I'm doing it, I will gladly share them with you. Oh, I did want to say thank you to everybody that commented recently. Uh, I don't know which episode it was. It was one of the more recent ones, but uh, there's just like a lot of, a lot of very nice comments on it, and I appreciated it greatly. You know, it's just a silly little thing, but it's nice to read comments. Just people saying, hey, you know. I liked it, or whatever. Or if you didn't like it, it's good to know that too. So, thank you to all you guys who have been commenting. I appreciate it a lot. There's another rock hive. I should probably come actually get that, to be honest. Uh, I've slightly lost interest in doing bees at the moment, just because I feel like it's gonna be way easier to do with a bee analyzer. 
P, P analyzer. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, so you can actually see what the inactive trait is as well. Just seems like a lot of hassle trying to do it without that information, so. I don't know, we might pause on the B stuff until LV. The B analyzer, uh, it requires like circuits and stuff, so. Pretty confident I cannot make that in my current tier. Oh, it feels so good getting rid of all that gravel so quickly. My god, gravel might be the worst block in all of Minecraft, I'm just gonna say it, man. Oh, I keep forgetting to put redstone on my hammer. It's had another modifier for like a while now. I need to go do that. All right, let's see here. There we go. I can do eight at a time on this bad boy. That is much faster. Dear God, I can also repair it, of course. Okay, well that's all that taken care of. Got redstone on my hammer, got a bunch of copper. The copper is now being processed, but that'll take a while, of course. That's really why I'm so excited about having this multi-block masturator. Hopefully it'll be so much faster, like eight times faster, because it can do eight things at a time. Uh, that should be so nice, because the masturator is really the main thing that's like slowing progress right now. Anyways, while that's all happening, what else can I do? I think this backpack looks pretty appealing. Yeah, let's do this next. All right, there we go. Backpack. Fancy backpack. Sheesh. That thing's pretty chunky. And it can hold anything. Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. So I guess I'll keep my random essentials in there, like those four items. All right, now I think I can put it on my back if I hold shift and press B. Yeah, here we go. And I guess I can set a filter for it to automatically pick stuff up. It's pretty interesting. Anyways, yeah, so now I can just press B and pop that bad boy open. Doesn't even take up an inventory slot. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Huge quality of life improvement. Oh, I can even color it. Well, you already know. Purple backpack, let's go. Oh, it's not actually on me. Oh wait, it is actually on me. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Well, that's fucking cool. Sheesh. Apparently this one can also craft stuff. Although I'm not super crazy interested in that right now. Maybe down the line I'll make that, but it's chill for the time being. This quest wants me to make a bunch of steel tools, but I don't want steel tools. It feels like a really bad way to spend steel. I'll probably skip that one for the time being. Guess I'll do a harvest of the old ore berries. I also tested it. The torch made no difference in uh, whether or not I got the drop. I think it's just random. Oops, I just broke one jumping in the water to get one that fell in. Oops. I need to figure out a different way to stop mobs from spawning in here, but for now I guess it's whatever. There's so much automation I want to do, but I feel like almost all of the automation options don't open up until LV. It's like the part of me that just wants to skip through to it, but you know. It's risky business. Also, this doesn't want to start for some reason. What's the matter? Blast furnace? Hello? I don't know what's wrong with this. Guess I'll break and replace it. This is still not working for some reason. Oh, it's two blocks of coal coke to get ten. Damn, that's expensive. <laughs> I need so much, so much coal coke. Just added a few random little pillars in here. I want to, I want to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, but I think eventually I'm gonna end up, you know, breaking and, you know, replacing all of these machines in a different format, but, uh, I don't feel like doing that right now. But yeah, there's also another thing that I was wanting to make in the, uh, building category. Oh shit, well, for one thing, I just saw the builder's wand, I want to make that. Anyways, this is the thing that I was talking about, the Architect's saw bench. Apparently it lets you make, like, wedges and stuff, if I'm understanding it correctly. And everybody's builds that I see online look way cooler than mine, because they have wedges. And I want wedges, too. See, so yeah, I'm gonna make one of these. That looks quite complicated. But I'm a genius, so it'll be fine. Alright, first off, a large pulley. Just some steel and stuff. Bink. Then, oh, god. Oh. What was that? Jeez, the stupid wrench breaking. Here, I'm gonna be quick with it. Okay, it's not working. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Jeez, that was very loud and scary. There's circular saw blade, two oak barricades, four oak logs and string, okie doke. Okie doke, get it, <laughs> oak. Two steel screws, just made some of those. Oh, my file broke, rip. And finally, weighted pressure plate. Oh my God, okay. Damn it, there's always so much more. Okay, pressure plate and Ooh, two more steel screws. <laughs> one day, man, one day. Okay, finally, Architects saw bench. Dear God, that was one of the most expensive things I've made. <laughs> it's just for cosmetics. Oh boy. Anyways, now I have an Architects hammer and chisel, which do stuff. Oh, cool. All right, well, this is how you make the wedges, clearly. You can make spheres. <laughs> what the hell? This is crazy. Railing? This is sick. Make some railing. Yo, this is so sick. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. 
So I placed it and it was not aligned correctly, but with the hammer, I was able to rotate it. It's not exactly the right height though. Well, there we go. Now we've got some very safe rails <laughs> to walk up the stairs with. Well, the first half of the stairs. What about up here though? Oh, cool. I will definitely have to mess around with this some more. That's gonna be fun. Do some really crazy stuff with it. Chisel. Don't really know what it does. Anyways, guess I can mark that one off the list. Anyways, I'm gonna throw all my bronze in here to get turned into plates. Uh, I don't think it'll be enough still. I need 156, but it'll be good progress if nothing else. And uh, I have more copper being made right now, so I can just make more bronze and more bronze and more bronze, and that'll take a little bit, but eventually we'll get that uh, multi-block macerator. Maybe next episode? Who knows? But for now, though, that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed the episode and you want to watch more, maybe hit subscribe. Uh, you know, unless you don't want to, it's fine. I don't really care that much. Uh, but, you know, until next time, I guess I'll be back soon, and I'll uh, see you then. Bye-bye.